What's up everybody, my name is Oxyblock and I want to welcome you guys to another Minecraft video. Today I want to show you guys a little bit of uh, a comparison on the FPS's that we get from the vanilla Minecraft, uh, the Sodium mod and the Optify mod. Now, I want you guys to take this with your own grain of salt. Um, unfortunately, the specs that your computer has, um, those are going to have a much higher impact on the FPS's that you're going to be able to output uh, rather than the mods that you're going to use. However, even though you see that my FPS shoots through the roof, um, you should see some um, increase in your FPS's. So even if mine goes from 200 frames per second to 800 frames per second, if at the moment you're getting 60 FPS's, you may be able to play the game at 100 FPS and have a little more stable and, and great experience in Minecraft. So I hope that this uh, helps you choose which mod is better for you because both Sodium and Optifine, even though they both uh, are going to be boosting your FPS's, they are slightly different, they offer different options and I wanted to go a little more in depth on this video. That way you can choose wisely which one is better for you instead of just following, following someone's um, opinion on it. So I wanted us to have a benchmark of what my computer usually outputs on vanilla Minecraft. So I went ahead and I ran the same test that we will be running later on on Sodium and Optifine on my vanilla world. Um, as you can see on the screen right now, you should be able to see the FPS's and of the different categories that we're testing the worlds on. All right, so I just booted up uh, Minecraft on the Sodium mod, and as we can see, we get a ton of frames per second with this mod, mod almost so right away, uh, going uh, upwards of three, 400 frames per second while recording. Uh, where we're moving, we get high 200s, even if the world is uh, still loading. So really good, you get like three, 400 frames per second while recording again. Uh, when I'm not recording, it's even more. If I just land over here and I stare in the distance, the FPSs are gonna go even closer to a thousand frames per second. So, really good, really awesome. Uh, let's jump into the Nether real quick to see how the uh, game um, behaves over there. It even seems that the time to load in the Nether uh, to the overworld is shorter. Uh, that may be just me, but yes, yeah, so in the Nether still, um, three, four hundred frames per second, really smooth, really buttery silk. I mean, having uh, uh, frame spikes at, at this level, like if uh, uh, your frames go from 600 to 300, you're not going to notice much because what you see on your monitor most likely is uh, capped at uh, so many frames per second. So really good, really useful. If you're looking for performance only, definitely um, Sodium may be the, uh, the uh, mod for you. But it's time to show the first of the, the test. As you saw before, is there gonna be a campfire test? What we're gonna be doing is filling this area with campfires just to see how many how much the particles are actually gonna affect the FPSs while using sodium. Uh, just a reminder on the uh, vanilla Minecraft that uh, this actually took a uh, quite a big hit on the frames per rate, first frames per second, as it was actually um, reducing them almost in half, if not more. So let's um, paste this command over here. We'll spawn a lot of campfires and lots of entities and take a look at the frames um still definitely taking a hit definitely going uh, low 200s or high 100s but uh, i mean so much better it's it's literally four times to five times better frames per second output than vanilla minecraft so um, definitely particles are not going to be too much of an issue if you're running the uh, the sodium mod so really really good performance over here what I decided to check on the second test is how much the entities around in the world are going to be lowering your FPSs. Now, we know that if you cram uh, entities into one space and they keep on uh, crashing onto each other and trying to pathfind by crashing, that um, affects a lot the performance of the game. So I'm going to be uh, filling these holes behind me with cows. Um, I believe the entity cramming limit is 25, so we should have 100 cows here and uh, we should see the FPSs drop a little bit. So let's see how Sodium actually takes that into, it, into account. So as you can see, we have about um, 100 entities around here. Obviously, there's entities around the world that are going to be counted as well. But yeah, about 100 entities and the frames per second basically did not drop almost at all. Uh, we still have 190, 150 actually dropping a little bit. But uh, nothing crazy, nothing too bad. Moving on to the third test, uh, we're going to be checking items. Uh, as you know, when you're mining, if you don't have a full inventory and you keep on dropping items on the ground, the game start getting more and more and more laggish, more and more 
slow in order to like uh, output FPS. So I want to break this up. Um, I did the exact same thing on the vanilla and we got a pretty good drop in uh, frames. So it was running like high 30s, low 40s. So we'll see how much uh, this actually affects uh, the sodium mod. Let's uh, go ahead and start breaking them. And you should see the frames uh, begin to drop. This is one of the things that I noticed that lowers the most FPS out of Optifine and uh, sodium. But as you can see, you still are going to get better performance than what you get on regular vanilla. And um, it's going to be running at 70 FPS in this case. Uh, I think that's really, really good for how many items are in the ground just sitting down and not being picked up. So again, another win for sodium. And last but not least, uh, we have uh, over here the redstone test. So we're going to have a lot of moving pistons, uh, 16 to be exact. That They're going to be pushing a slime box with a redstone block and they're going to be turning on the redstone lamps. Now this is going to be a test of uh, movable objects along with light updates and we're going to do so also by using observers which is going to make an observer clock which also uh, affects the FPSs in the world. So let's turn it on um, let's see what we get. So as we can see it's um, pretty much staying over 200 frames per second, high 200s I should say. Uh, well, we move around, uh, if we get a little closer maybe we'll go down. No, nope, it's still increasing at 300 frames per second. So Pretty good at it. I will say that the average is about 260 to 70, which is pretty good. Sometimes it went down to 250. So we'll leave it at 260. Um, very, very good um, results from sodium on this test. So it's time to check out Optifine and how it actually fares in the world by itself. So as you know, first test is just going to be walking around um, in the overworld, just uh, seeing how the uh, system does. And uh, as you can see, really well really smooth it doesn't seem to go over 300 very often it usually stops around 240 260 um now because i just said that it went to 270 but uh very good i mean i consider very good everything that is above 120 130 fps because most monitors are going to be below that um that frame rate so if if it's outputting something that is above what your monitor can show you I think that's a, a really good uh, way to look into it. When we're standing still, as you can see, it goes a little higher, uh, high 200s, and it's really good as well. So let's jump into the nether and see how it fares over here. As we can see, I have actually the fog. Uh, one of the things that is great about Optifine is that you can turn off the fog in the nether. You can actually see afar. You also have the zoom key, which uh, even lets you see even farther away. But again, really good performance, high 200 frames per second. Um, and again, the option to tailor the way that you're going to see the game. Time to put Optifine uh, through the test. So the first one that we're going to be uh, testing out is going to be the uh, campfire test. So let's run it real quick. There goes the particles. And as you can see, definitely a little bit of a bigger hit than the sodium was taken definitely a lot better than vanilla minecraft runs it and again above and beyond what uh, most monitors are going to be reproducing above and beyond what uh, most of your youtube videos are going to be uh, playing at playing at 110 120 fps i consider this uh, very 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 good quality for the amount of, uh, of particles that are going to be uh, playing in your world I went ahead and I uh, added all the 100 cows into the four holes and as you can see the frame rate over here is still really good uh, over 120 130 while moving around real quick if you go to um, the, the speed that we're going to be moving in Minecraft um, it's going to be stable at 130 140 FPS so really good I'm really liking how Optifine it seems to just be very balanced in the way that the game works and uh, the options that it's going to give you Time to put uh, Optifine uh, against uh, probably the toughest test that uh, is on this list, which is uh, the items on the ground. So let's go ahead and start breaking the um, chest and taking a look at how the FPS react to the amount of items on the ground. I'm definitely low in them, you can already feel it. But again, um, just as sodium, actually a very similar result to what sodium was outputting, um, just a few FPS is uh, lower. Um, running onto 50 sometimes 60 fps um, i don't think this is uh, really uh, too bad of, of a hit um, better than vanilla but almost uh, just as sodium again the differences are going to be smaller here since uh, sodium already was running at uh, 70 80 but um, 
I think very good. All right, so let's jump into the very last of the tests that we'll be running. And uh, this is gonna be, as uh, we showed already before on the sodium test world, the uh, piston movement along with the light updates. So let's turn it on. And as we can see, it's uh, gonna go down quite a bit, but uh, to 130, 140 FPS, which is uh, not so bad to be honest. Uh, it's uh, very much playable, it's uh, really good. Definitely getting um, two to three times what we get on Vanilla Minecraft, which is, uh, in my opinion, more than enough of, uh, of an increase in performance. I wanted to finish up by showing the uh, settings that we actually get to choose on each of the mods. Um, definitely Optifine has the edge on this. As you can see here, we are looking at Sodium, and it does not have a lot of options. You can only toggle ever so often, um, every so many things. Uh, only three taps, not a many options. And this is something that uh, definitely sets Optifine apart. Moving on to the options that Optifine gives us, uh, as you see, it uh, it is it is a lot better. In this sense, if your computer can manage it, if you have a middle to high-end computers, I think Optifine will probably be the the way to go for you. You get this the chitty zoom key, you get uh, connecting textures, you get all of these video settings that are, uh, are basically endless, uh, endless. You can change so many details, so many uh, um, animations, performance, quality. You have another section, so many tabs, so many things that you can tweak to perfection to make the game run as efficiently as you want, but as the same, at the same time, as beautiful as you want. And the, 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 the fact that you can just um, load a shader pack from here and move from one to the other and make the game look as beautiful as, as someone decided to, to, to do, it's, it's really awesome. I mean, just the lighting, the water textures, uh, how the world looks, the shadows, it's, it's fantastic. And definitely this takes a super hard toll on my computer, especially. This is the high version of the Sildur shader, so it's already a pretty uh, resource-consuming shader. But as you can see, still running at 50, 60 FPS while recording. So definitely something playable, something that you can find the, the way to, to optimize uh, the relationship between making your Minecraft world beautiful and performing at the same time. I wanted to finish this video by making a little summary of uh, all the data that we uh, gathered during the video. As you can see it on the screen, um, if you're looking for performance, definitely uh, Sodium is kicking the ball out of the park. And uh, I believe that Optifine is a nice middle point of uh, and a, and a nice compromise between performance and um, the looks and the aesthetics of the game. I personally will be choosing Optifine uh, for my gameplay. Um, because the frames per second that Optifine is able to output for me are more than enough for the videos that I want to uh, make and for the output that my monitor is uh, giving out to me. There's no reason for me to play at four or five hundred frames per second since I'm actually not seeing that performance neither in the videos nor in the monitor that I play on. However, if what you're looking for is for a mod that is going to let you play um, Java a better because you already do not get enough frames per second, Maybe Sodium is the mod for you and it's the mod that may help you uh, be able to take that final step towards playing Java instead of Bedrock because as we know, Bedrock is a little more optimized in the way that uh, it's going to output the game to not so high-end computers. I really hope that you found this video interesting. I really hope that I've been uh, helping you make the decision between one mod or the other or both if it's what you want to go for. And if you did, uh, please make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel and it makes my day. And if you really liked it and want to see more content, uh, consider subscribing and hitting that bell button so you get notified when I release another video. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one.